Welcome back to iTech Aspirant. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a domain in Windows Server 2025, create a user in Active Directory, and connect a Windows 10 client machine to that domain. Whether you're an IT student or a professional looking to enhance your skills, this step-by-step -step guide will help you master the basics of domain administration. Let's get started. First, open Server Manager on Windows Server and click Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Click Next. Select Active Directory Domain, Services, and click Add Features. Click Next. Click Install. Make sure that you've installed Windows Server correctly to prevent difficulties. Once the installation is complete, click on Promote this server to a domain controller. In the deployment configuration, choose Add a new forest if this is first domain, controller in a new forest, enter the root domain name and click Next. Enter a memorable password and click Next. Review the domain name and click Next. Click Next and then click Install. The server will restart automatically to apply the changes. Next, let's create a user in the domain. This user will log into the client machine after we connect it to the domain. We'll use Active Directory users and computers for this task. Right-click on Domain Name and select New and then User. Enter the user's details. Enter user logon name and remember it. Enter the password and confirm it, and then click Next. Click Finish. The password doesn't meet the password policy requirements, so I again enter, and I enter the four alphabets and six digits, so the user is created. Now let's configure the IP address. Make sure that your Windows Server is on NAT. Open CMD. Type ipconfig to check the IP address. Here is your IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. Now write in cpa.cpl. Right click on Ethernet and go to Properties. Double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select Use the following IP address and enter the IP address and default gateway. Prefer DNS server is same as IP address. Write default 8.8.8.8 and alternate DNS server. After all, click OK. Now configure the Windows 10 client to join the domain. Before we proceed, if you don't have Windows 10 installed on VMware, make sure to watch my previous video where I show you how to install Windows 10 on VMware Workstation Pro step by step. I'll leave the link in the description below, so check it out and get your Windows 10 ready before continuing. Open command prompt as well. Write IP config. Write ncpa.cpl. Right click on Ethernet and go to Properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select Use the following IP address and enter the IP address. Enter Default Gateway. Now, enter the Windows Server IP address in Preferred DNS Server. Click OK. Now write sysdm.cpl. Click Change. Select Domain and enter your root domain name. 
Click OK. Enter the Windows Server username and password. Click OK and it will automatically restart your computer. Click Restart now. Go to Other User. Enter the user logon name you created earlier in Windows Server. Enter the password. And that's it. You've successfully created a domain in Windows Server 2025, added a user, and connected a Windows 10 client to the domain. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more IT tutorials. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.